we are going to do is to basically set up um, the project and create a GitHub uh, repository for it. Um, so let's get started. So here we have our IntelliJ um, latest version um, of IntelliJ IDEA uh, with the JMD Studio plugin. And um, so the first thing that we uh, want to do is basically to create a new project here. And in this case, I'm going to select um, Java 17. Um, then going next and selecting here as the template, the single module application, which is just fine for our purposes. Um, so the project name will be, um, as I already told you in the last video, Rent Your Stuff. So this will be the project that we are working on. And um, the base package, I will do it uh, my personal domain and call it Rent Your Stuff. And this will also be the prefix uh, of the project ID. And with that, we can basically um, yeah, spit it off. Um, now what happens is Gradle will initialize our application and um, yeah, so right now we are up, um, up and running and able to um, start our, uh, our application in JMX. Um, so once we have that on our local machine, so the next thing would be to create um, a GitHub repository for it. So there are multiple ways on how to do that. In this case, um, I'm making use of the GitHub CLI. So we can first of all um, create um, initial Git repository. Um, so since I'm using Z shell here, um, I have a couple of um, shortcuts for my git commands. So there is G -W -N, uh, GSS, and this is for um, showing the git status. And then there's GAA, which is basically git um, at all. And yeah, so these are just um, a couple of things that I wanted to mention beforehand. And then there's another thing which you might I have already seen is this um, uh, section here. And it's basically just a way for you um, to see what shortcuts I'm doing. So if I'm, for example, hit um, Command Shift O, then you see that here appearing in the video. And um, so with that, basically, you can follow along what I'm actually doing. Okay, so there is no Git repository right now. So let's create a Git repository here in our um, local directory. And when I'm now doing a Git status, um, I don't have anything um, in particular. Um, so by default, a uh, JMX project already contains a git ignore file. So we can just output what is actually part of this content here. Um, so this means, you know, particular directories and so on are already excluded from git, which is fine. Um, so therefore we only see a couple or like a subset of, of what is in this directory. So then I will go ahead and um, make an initial commit to this repository. And now we have everything under version control. And what I do now is basically create um, GitHub repository on it. So for that, we have this GitHub CLI and there is a possibility to say GitHub repo create. And first thing it asked me to um, either create a new uh, repository from scratch or using an existing one. Since we just created a local one, um, I will select the second one, second option here. And this uh, next thing is, you know, pass to the local directory. The point means this directory where we are currently in, which is also fine. Um, rent your stuff will be the repository name. So this is also um, just fine. Um, and the description will be um, yeah, just a regular description. It will be um, visible to everyone so that you can also take a look at the source code. 
and now uh, the repository has been created. Um, in this case, I would like to have a remote reference um, for my local Git repository, so I should say yes and origin is fine. Um, and it now asks me to push the latest commits already, so this we can immediately do. So when we now go ahead and go to our um, to my personal um, directory here and see my repositories, then we see that we now have an initial repository that we just committed. Um, yeah, just created the commit two minutes ago. So with that in place, um, now we have basically set up everything in order to have our project under version control, which is um, a good thing, um, which you know we will do throughout this um, video series. Secondly, as I already um, explained, I will use the GitHub issues for creating some kind of um, you know feature requests or like you know building up the system as you would normally do it in a in a regular uh, issue tracker when you're developing some kind of a software. All right, so with that, um, we have everything in place and we can already start our application. So the first thing that um, now happens is that um, Jamix tells me, hey, do you wanna, um, yeah, basically apply a couple of um, liquid-based change logs. I will probably go into a dedicated video about liquid-based change logs um, to explain you you know the, the details about it but the main point here is right now that we have um, locally an empty database currently it's a um, as you see it here in this reference it's a file-based database um, which sits in this dot jmx directory here in my rent your stuff application and it's completely empty right now so therefore we want to create some kind of a database updates um, that puts the database in the correct state so this is now what has happened and now the next thing is that it compiles Java code and you know starts the Spring Boot application. So this should be done by now. So if we now click on the URL, <clears throat> so now we have an empty application. You can already log in. Um, as you see here, the the title is already you know aligned a little bit properly and so on. And yeah, once we are logged in, we have some administrative um, options here for example managing the users but also like uh, doing some kind of permission system and so on and so forth so with that we have now our empty empty application um, yeah this is basically um, you know the initial start of um, our development um, yeah, for, for this video, we have now achieved all of our goals. And I think the next one is going to um, talk a little bit about then the, um, the actual application and what we are actually going to do. See you next time.